Welcome to our series of videos taking a look at the character section in Plotter. And in this video, we're going to take a look at custom attributes for characters. Custom attributes are simply any characteristics or information you'd like to track for all of your characters. And as you can see, we already have four custom attributes set up, the type of house, the role, gender, and primary trait. To add any new custom attributes, you can do that in the Attributes button under the toolbar. And we see those same four attributes. We can edit those for a character simply by clicking into the details for that character card. As you can see, each of the attributes are simple input boxes. You can change them to a rich text formatting simply by going to the Attributes button and toggling the Paragraph option. So now when we look at type of house, you can see there is rich text formatting with a text toolbar available. One important note is that with the paragraph option turned on, this attribute will not show up in the filter menu. So for example, if we go to filter, we can now see role, gender, and primary traits are all options for our filter but type of house doesn't appear here. And we can change that back simply by clicking on the paragraph button here. And now the type of house has returned inside the filter. We can also add additional attributes by going into the attributes menu and adding it here. So if we would like to track animal type, you can see it now appears on the list. And you can move this to wherever you'd like it to appear among the other attributes. Now, if we return to the wolf, you can see there's now an animal type. So I can say the wolf is a mammal. And you can add this information for any of the other characters as well. And if we go back to the filter, you can see there's an option to filter by animal type as well. So if we filter by mammal, you can see only the wolf appears, and then we can clear the filter with the X button. Now, if you'd like to delete a custom attribute, you can simply click on attributes again and click the X next to the trait you'd like to delete. And when we return, you can see animal type is no longer in the scene card. Now, a useful note is if you ever want to return to a previously used attribute, you can add it. And as long as you spell it exactly the same way, it will remember any previous entries. So in this example, I retyped an animal type and it remembered that the wolf had been labeled as a mammal. So that covers custom attributes for characters. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for all our newest information. And I'll see you in the next video.